really a close family, you know? It's a shame what happened, but it happened. If you're a horror fan like me, then you're familiar with the Amityville house. It's been called the most haunted home in America, and the true events that occurred here in the 70s have inspired multiple movies and remakes. A few years ago, the real Amityville horror house was up for sale, and we're gonna take a look. Since it is Halloween and all, I figured why not tour the famous Amityville house and go over some of the spooky history and what the real house looks like inside and out. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. The Amityville house is in the small town of Amityville, Long Island, just 30 miles outside of New York City. The iconic windows seen in the film have since been changed and so has the interior for obvious reasons. In November 1974, a seemingly normal family, the DeFeos, resided in this house. Around 3.15 a.m., one of the children, Ronald DeFeo Jr., murdered his entire family as they slept, going from room to room shooting his parents and siblings. He said that he heard voices in the home telling him to murder them, and he was given six life sentences, still serving time to this day. Despite the horror of these events, it doesn't stop there. Apparently the hauntings continued, but I'll get to that shortly. Personally, I've seen three movies based on this super haunted house, and I've liked them all. There was the original starring James Brolin released in 1979. You all gone mad? George! Then another good one in 2005 with Ryan Reynolds. Why don't you come back to bed? I oh, can't sleep. And most recently, Amityville The Awakening with Bella Thorne in 2015. Sorry, I just wanted to talk to James. I didn't kiss. After this house tour, you might be inspired to go watch one or all of those movies. I know I will. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. Today is going to be a little different since it's one of my favorite holidays, Halloween. We'll be taking a look at the Amityville house in Long Island, give you all the details of the real life property on Ocean Avenue, as well as some of the creepy and true history behind behind it all. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tours next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. In the early morning hours of November 13th, 1974, the Amityville house went from being a mere suburban home to an infamous crime scene. As I mentioned, one of the children, Ronald DeFeo Jr., lurked the home's hallways with a rifle, taking the life of his parents and four of his siblings. Though he confessed to his deeds, Robert's defense would later attempt an insanity plea. DeFeo ominously claimed that there were voices in his head urging him to kill and he couldn't control his behavior. And some believe he was hearing evil spirits that reside at the Ocean Avenue. Avenue house. Hey, police combed the DeFeo's handsome three-story house for clues while divers explored the backyard swimming pool for the still unfound murder weapon. Police have been questioning the son, Ronald, and now say he is being, quote, safeguarded. Investigators say without explanation that they now feel young DeFeo was in the house at the time of the murders, but they're not yet considering him a suspect. Despite this, a look at DeFeo Jr.'s life provides an alternative reason for the event. With an abusive father and passive mother, the boy's troubled childhood led to substance abuse as an adult. He not only lashed out at his father, but once even threatened him with a gun. The parents hoped letting him live at home and with a weekly allowance would help, and Robert barely held a job. Though his attorney, William Weber, tried to use the insanity plea, the prosecution argued DeFeo Jr. was a mere drug addict who was well aware of what he was doing that night. He was convicted on six counts of second degree murder and sentenced to six concurrent sentences of 25 years to life. Still in prison to this day. There was a lot, a lot of problems, you know. And it's not that I could sit here and lie to you. I could say that 
I knew something bad was going to happen to my mother and father. Despite the infamous 1974 killings, numerous families have since moved in and out of the suburban home, and according to many, paranormal occurrences were common here. When the Lutz family moved into the Amityville house in December 1975, the haunting stories began to swirl the news. George and Kathy Lutz believed the purchase of the Dutch colonial style home at 80K was a steal, but moved out 28 days later after terrifying incidents occurred. Just moving into the house was fine. It's a lovely house. Yeah. And we enjoyed moving in. Uh, within a week, Kathy's hand had been touched by something that we discussed and couldn't explain. It was just something unseen. From green slime oozing from the walls. It was more of uh, a gelatin kind of substance that we thought the children had somehow mixed something up and, and spilled it around the house. The okay. next time it happened, the kids were at school. And there was just no way to explain how it got there. Foul odors, eyes peering into the house from outside, and Kathy levitating in bed. It was reportedly quite the month. When it happens to a family, usually they close the door and they don't talk about it. Yeah. And unless these things are talked about, they'll never be understood. George also claimed he woke up at 3.15 a.m. each night, the exact time of the DeFeo family deaths. Jay Anson's 1977 book, The Amityville Horror, was based on these reported events and served as the blueprint for the classic 1979 film of the same name. The book was a bestseller, the film became a classic, and tourists flocked to see the house. Do you believe all the stories? Yeah, I do. They're kind of creepy. They gave me the creeps that... Why do you believe it when the present owners say there's no truth to it at all? They've been living here for almost two years. Oh, I didn't know they had present owners. I thought it was deserted. Anson's book used 45 hours of the family's recorded interviews as a basis, and one of the three children confirmed the hauntings happened. But he also said the events were exaggerated by his stepfather, George Lutz. George was curious about paranormal activity and tried to summon spirits, and had financial motivation to sell his story to the media due to the family's severe debt. And Weber, DeFeo Jr.'s attorney, said the haunting was all a hoax he allegedly conjured up with Jay Anson while drinking. All in all, the Amityville house has had about five different owners since the DeFeo murders, and most recently it was purchased for 605 k in February 2017. Today there are 18 different films about the house, the most recent one being the one starring Bella Thorne. Several documentaries have also been made, including some that featured Ronald DeFeo Jr. Despite all of the theories on the Amityville house hauntings and how they were a hoax, is it possible that evil spirits inhabit the property? There have been eerie images taken at the home over the decades, so I'll let you be the judge. At present, the Dutch clone home looks like your average suburban family home. It's actually quite nice. Most recently it was bought for 605 k in February 2017 and sits on a quarter acre lot. One set of owners, the Cromarties, actually changed the Amityville house address from the original 1112 Ocean Avenue, hoping to stave off stalkers and retain its fluctuating value. The Amityville house has been significantly renovated since the 1970s, as you might expect. Its once dark shingle siding was replaced with a much lighter shade, and the home's iconic eye windows have since been removed, most likely to make the place less recognizable. Inside, there are 5 beds and 3.5 baths, and the house was originally built in 1927. There are plenty of windows throughout, filling the home with natural light. The home is rather substantial, offering a formal dining room, large living room with fireplace, a kitchen, and even a beautiful sunroom. Elsewhere, there's another sitting room, which held a piano and built-in bookshelves in the listing folios. The home backs onto the Amityville Creek, and one of the more recent and owners restored the sagging boathouse, which is on the canal. Apparently, the same owners added another sunroom to the creek side of the house as well. Outside, there's plenty of deck and patio space as well, and even a balcony overlooking water views. Honestly, the Amityville house is looking stunning these days, and completely normal, might I add. Despite the gawkers who pass by and occasionally attempt to explore the property, the current owners of the Amityville house seem to be content living here. And we haven't heard of any green slime oozing from the walls since. So now we've taken a look at the haunted Amityville House of Horrors, whether the paranormal events actually took place or it was just exaggerated by the Lutz family and Robert DeFeo Jr., the grisly murders that happened here are enough to make it haunted in my books. Not to mention, the Amityville story brought on some great horror books and films either way. After looking at the Amityville House in Long Island, what did you guys think? Do you think it's actually haunted or is it just a normal suburban house in the water? Would you ever live here? Be honest. Personally, I'd go and check it out and stay a few nights just because I'm curious, but any house with murders like that occurring in it is just some bad energy to me. Be sure to let me know down in the comments.
I also showed off my haunted house and Halloween costumes on my personal channel, so be sure to check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, or we'll link you my latest vid. Hey guys, happy Halloween. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys my costumes and help me pick one so you guys can rate them. I'm a furry bear, fuzzy bear. Thanks for tuning into this special edition of our house tours. Happy Halloween and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Let me know down below which famous houses you want to see next and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!